Well, here we are in the PTU, which means, of course, that we have to load up the PTU character. There we go, you beautiful bastard. All right, accept that and let's go. Uh, do I need to play the tutorial? Nah. All right, let's go in here. Uh, let's... I happen to know for a fact that New Babbage, uh is where the IA is being held, but I went there yesterday before I reset my account, or not reset it, but um, reapplied the PTU thing so that I could have access to these ships, uh, the new ships. Um, and there's nothing really there. It's it's the all the ships you've seen. It's Crusader, like A2, C1, all those guys. So uh, let's just go ahead and get in there. So this is how we're dressed, which obviously won't do. There we go, much better. <laughs> All right, well, here's this girth unit here. Let's just make me a little nervous that the caution tape is still up. Okay, so this is the tan skin. It does look, it looks a little sleeker than the concept images were making me think it was, which I appreciate. I do like the fact that it has a big window there. That's something we've started seeing in some of the more recent ships. Uh, one of the things I was gonna do here, let's see if I can actually open up. I'd be surprised if I could actually reach this, but we'll give it a shot. Yeah, it's going green, but it's not going blue. So I guess I don't have stretcher arms, but um, you'll hear me bitch about the Merchant Man a lot on this channel. Uh, but I'm like 30% kidding when I do that. And it is because Jared says that you want your ship to be last in line because they learn so much every time they do these things. By the way, CIG, this right here is how you should do the Caterpillar elevators is you have it that the doors come down up there and then you can hit a second button to lower it down if you're on the ground. And there, I'm sure you guys have already thought of that, but there you have it. But this is kind of cool. Uh, I do have the max version, but I will be CCUing it to a BLD version. I've got enough cargo haulers that this would just be superfluous, but a BLD, would not. We do have a pioneer in the carnival, but having a uh, a ship that's not quite all your eggs in one basket, like the BLD, is about perfect. This would be good for setting up like a uh, town as opposed to a city or a space station. So again, we have a bunch of ways in here. I don't think there's a way to get in up front. I think it is just the airlocks. Does it have an airlock on both sides? Oh, it's got a ladder up here. Okay. Well, let's pop that open. Um, but anyway, I've, I've talked about the Merchant Man in the past where I've said I, I want it now, but you think about what you would actually do with it in game right now. And I think it would be like the 890 with more cargo. You'd have a bunch of people soloing it around, uh, maybe running cargo missions and then getting pissed off when people blew them up. Except you'd have a lot more cargo on the line, so they'd be a lot more pissed off. Uh, I just, with multi-crew coming in, I would rather just wait until there's a lot more gameplay in to justify the ship so that I could talk people into being crew, NPC crews are a thing, so you're not running light when you can't get 12 people on board to run the thing. This ship, you're probably going to need minimum three people to run. So the way that I calculate 
crew numbers in this game, or the, at least the way that I'm doing it now. And this is future crew numbers. Right now, you can solo anything. Uh, that won't be the case even in a couple patches. I'm trying to remember if the Max actually has two turrets or just the one. Okay, so it's got the two. It's got one here facing backwards, and then it's got another one kind of up over the nose on the shoulders. Um, so what I do is I count up the number of turrets on the ship. So you have that many people, a pilot, and then you need an engineer. And each scale, I'd say, of ship class beyond this one, you're probably going to need another engineer. And that is how, in my head at least, right now, I calculate the crew size. So you can look on the, uh, the web page and it'll tell you what the crew size is, but that's not necessarily true. Do we have elevators back here? We do. Man, this thing is like the anti-Starfare. So the Starfare is a nightmare to get around. This thing just has lots of ways. No, don't shut me in your cargo deck or habitation. Just has tons of ways to get around without being obtuse. All right, so let's keep going. So let's get this open. We're obviously on the lower deck right now which is cargo that's a bug oh yeah i'm not wearing a helmet so i can't actually do it but you see how that's not lit up that has been an issue in this game for a while the terrapin does the same thing but anyway uh yeah with the bmm i would love to have it in the game right now but given what they're showing us in concept i think they kind of need to think about it a bit more there's the elevator outside I think they kind of need to plan it out. They need to figure out what the Banu aesthetic is and more than just their sort of ship design language, like the whole thought press process behind the race. I don't like the fact these doors don't auto open, but given that this room can be open to the open to space, I guess it makes sense. Oh, okay, so this isn't the bridge. I thought this was going to actually lead to the bridge, but this is all the suit room, which I guess makes sense. Have that right next to the EVA. So your suit lockers. Um, they haven't, they still haven't quite told us, even on Friday's show, what the consequences would be of running heavy armor over a light suit. Well, that was a bug too. So the ship's a little bugged. Uh, not surprising. So that, well, now that little door opened. Uh, C2 does the same thing. Life support, gravity generator. So we've got components here. Let's check that out. I mean, it wouldn't be Star Citizen without Jank. Of course, those two things won't be coming in until engineering is in the game. Again, there's the elevator to the outside. So it kind of works like the Corsair in the sense you've got an elevator that can go one of three places it can go outside to the cargo deck or to the habitation deck uh this ship is probably about in the perfect size range for just kind of tooling around with a couple friends i would say like if there's three of you on this ship you should be okay four to five would be perfect um Avionics, so again, this is gonna be engineering, not in the game yet. Yeah, it'll just be empty. We got radar relay. Again, I expect this to be empty. Oh, it's not. And check that out. So you've actually got the um the fuse right there, which is interesting. I won't pull that out because it probably would shut off this area. But you'll note there's two fuse areas right there. Oh wait, is he gonna pick that up? Please don't get away from it before it does be sitting here in my ship not able to take off and have no idea what's going on got our escape pods there got four of them yeah so i mean if you run four people in this ship everybody's covered uh let's just keep pushing back anything on the roof i didn't check that of course it's has to have its airlock or what else would the um Oh, I forget what it's called. The boarding ship. What the boarding ship would link on to. Think of it eventually. Legionnaire? Something like that? Anyway. 
Got a nice little uh, galley here. Got a pool table. It'd be nice if you could switch that out. I mean, hot tub, am I right? Now, this was kind of a missed opportunity. They've got those big windows, which I think were down a level. Or were they up here? Yeah, they're right there. So those big windows I saw were right here. The better place to put them... would have been in here. Because where are you going to be sitting and not really doing anything else is here. So this is where I'd want a window. Like right there and right there. But yeah, it's MISC. They don't care about that kind of crap. Uh, is this storage or just decoration? It's got a little shelf there. Just decoration, I guess. Oh, it's for pull cues. So... Is this storage here? No. Bet the pool balls go there. One day we'll have pool in the game. Dropping with 4.0. Can I actually pick this up yet? Nope, not yet. So fire extinguisher. Eventually that'll be working. Now we're into the back of the ship. This will probably be Habs. Whoa. Yeah, this server is kind of on the struggle bus. I should have warned you about that. Uh, I'm guessing this is captain's quarters so yeah double berth there and then of course we've got the head nice man if this is just regular crew quarters that's that's a good deal uh that is the elevator that goes down to the cargo room hab four so we got four habs man no that's just a regular hab damn so I think I've mentioned before that I'm looking at buying a sailboat in the near future as kind of my pseudo retirement thing. Uh, I would kill to have a berth like this. Those things do not have a lot of living space. So I'm assuming this will be the same. Yeah, same thing there and same thing over here then. Whoa, really doesn't there's something going on over here in the world that it is struggling with. Yeah, man, so a crew of four, everyone has their private room. That is pretty nice. Of course, this is where the engineer will be living. Batteries, do we actually have anything in there? And click it again. Nope, nothing in batteries. What's this? Does that say, oh, just access. So yeah, again, got a fuse there. And got two fuses. I'm wondering why you would need two. Uh, and so this one should be good. So we got a cooler over here. And got the shield generator there. Missing the jump drive. I assume it's back there. Uh, yeah, engineering gameplay should be super interesting. Um, oh, that's cool. It's just windowed. Nice. Good touch. I feel like we're missing a couple. Yeah, we got the quantum drive, but where's the jump drive? Must have missed it. Or maybe it's one of these. Flux capacitor. Fluxing. But yeah, back to the Banu Merchantman, of course, engineering channel there. Yeah, very, very cool ship. And this is what I mean when I say if... The Banu Merchant Man comes out in like a year or two, which it looks like it might be on the far end of that, like two or three at least. Uh, I won't be totally mad because making things like the Polaris make it a bit easier to make something like the Merchant Man because they'll know how to balance it and they'll kind of figure things out. Like you kind of saw how judicious they were with space like they respected how much space this thing needed and it still feels luxurious but you don't just have these gigantic open rooms that don't do anything even the banu would realize that space would be at a premium in a spaceship traveling around in the vacuum 
and you wouldn't want to have a gigantic big empty room that doesn't do anything it has to do something so hopefully cig kind of takes that to heart man this thing's got some beefy weapons on it which is true for the starfare too but so few people use the starfare they probably don't realize that uh this thing's got some rather large guns i think those look like size fours and i think these are size fours so that's like what eight size fours on this thing definitely has a weakness underneath but for a cargo mover that's that's nasty that is really nasty um yeah not angry um i kind of like the fact that all of the cargo is quickly accessible that's something that the older ships are going to have issues with but i mean you could put i'm not sure if that's eight seu right there does it say manual release no it's just show uh you could certainly put bikes and stuff on there but as far as a builder goes this will be very cool i like the fact that the landing gear is curved to kind of match the shape language of the habitation area uh but once again you got a window down here in the cargo bay but you don't have a window up in the habitation area just that's where you'd you'd want one because when people are waking up they're going to want to take a look around sort of see what's around you uh one of the things you do when you're sailing across an ocean uh when you're sleeping is you sleep for about 30 minutes and then you wake up you look around you make sure you're not going to hit anything like cargo containers ironically or other ships kind of that don't have their sort of communication thing on so uh yeah if you you had to run down two floors to look out the window uh you'd probably get a different boat but all in all yeah not not angry this thing is pretty cool and it says great things about the design to come uh and i did check i do not have a polaris in here or even be an evo so i will be doing a walkthrough with knight when he's in the game and i kind of wanted to do one with him anyway just because yeah he's he's had the thing so long that actually kind of getting his live reaction when he gets to see see it in the flesh if he hasn't already be pretty cool pretty happy for him pretty happy for the carnival too that we got one in our fleet but mostly happy for my friend so gang that's all i got on this one i know everyone and their mother has done a walkthrough on this does this not close from here does not does it close in here let's try this leave an upper decker in there yeah yep pretty cool stay tuned for the players walk through be doing that with night you get to hear him geek out over it because he will be very happy with it i'll kind of get his thoughts on the ship how he intends to use it uh people thinking that they're going to be soloing ships like this well i guess this actually is a ship that you might be able to get away with soloing once blades are in uh but it would be risky the polaris you definitely won't be able to solo or you will but you're going to be having a bad time uh that is not what that ship is designed for bring a friend but that's all i got for this one gang catch you next time so as i was editing this video i uh i had a thought Yeah, you can fit at least 25 seats there. And unlike the Valkyrie, people can just get up and walk right off. Uh, if the TAC, I think the TAC, the TAC, has a hangar here for like a Fury. Uh, but if it still has this little drop down area, this is only 20 seats, you could fit five more. So that's 
50 people in jump seats that you could fit and they can all get off at the same time. I think the uh, Star Lancer might have just become a premier dropship for big troop movements. And you can fit a couple Cyclones in the back. So, uh, yeah, something to keep in mind. <laughs>